Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with your Carolina Hurricanes, Pittsburgh Penguins preview and predictions for a Sunday, February 20th. Hope you have yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. All right, we've got a good one here today in Pittsburgh. you got the Canes uh, traveling to the... Uh, the old former Igloo take on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Minus 132 is the line here on the uh, the Penguins. The over-under set at 5.5. ATS forecast. Computer pick. Going to lead with Pittsburgh in this one. 2.8 to 2.66. And how fitting is that? Having a 66 in a, uh, a game involving the Penguins where the great Mary Lemieux used to play. So that's, uh, I don't know if that's an omen or anything, but uh, be careful with that. 6-4 and four straight up in their last 10 games. The Canes are. And for the Penguins... Off a loss in their last game. In fact, they got spanked by the Maple Leafs. 4-1 to was the final there. They are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. And looking at the daily market value index, I had the uh, the Canes at plus 113, so fair market value at plus 110. And also, good job on the bookmakers. 130 was my line, and 132 is their line. So we are there from the market psychology point of view. We are at fair market value. 59.3% chance of winning for the Pens compared to 40.12 for the Canes. And uh, Carolina... They don't do well in this building. In fact, they're only 4-6 and six in their last 10. But uh, in the head-to-head -head meetings, either in Raleigh or Pittsburgh, both teams are 5-5 five and five straight up, but 2-8 and eight to the under. So maybe the under is where you want to lean in this one. And uh, the uh, Carolina Panthers coming off a win Friday night against the Preds. 5-3 to three was the final. And anytime Nashville's on the road on one day's rest, they are 10-4 and four straight up in their next game. I like the Canes here. I think getting value and a great head coach in the Brindamore. Should be a good one today in Pittsburgh. Good luck.